So this was a fan-made film for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Angel Grove, a gritty reboot made with Kling 2.0. Kling 2.0 rolls out today. Once you log into your Kling account, go to the Video Generation tab and click on Kling 2.0 Master. Right now it has a text to video and image to video feature. So I'm going to start with text to video. Um, I had a prompt uh, already pre-made here that might be from Red Ranger and Epic Scene. Click on 2.0 and it immediately gives me a really good uh, video of what it looks like of a Power Ranger. Not, you know, the, the official uh, intellectual property of it. So I should probably go forward with this, but since this is a fan-made film, um, I think that that I can do a little bit better. I love that look though, and the, the adherence is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and try image to video using some images I made in Mid Journey. I'm gonna keep the prompt mostly the same and just change the, the last part and what color ranger it is uh, to change the camera movement and style. And while that bakes and cling, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Mid Journey and generate more images for me to test, cleaning them up and getting them ready along the way. So this is the first image to video output from Kling 2.0, and it looks pretty good. It's circling around the Pink Ranger, but it does kind of fall apart all over the place. It looks very CGI, so I probably need to go back to the prompting and, and change that a little bit. But next I'm going to try the negative prompting. So I'm going to go, I'm going to add this Blue Ranger image in um, and change some of the prompting. But this time I'm going to add in a negative prompt to blur, bad quality, fast movements, unnatural movements, CGI, animation. And let's see how that looks. So it's going to take a while to bake because that's cling. So I'm going to go back and look at some of the original generations I had without the negative prompting. And as you'll see here, the camera movement's great. I love the action, but it just gives it that CGI feel. This one was a little bit better without the negative prompt. The prompt adherence is really great. It does the camera movement I asked, but it kind of turns everything plasticky uh, right off the bat, especially, yeah, this one too. Very CGI looking. So now the negative prompting generations are done and just right off the bat, you can tell the difference. I mean, look at that. He's breathing heavily in and out, uh, changing his stance, doing some power moves. Uh, you know, the camera probably should have boomed up when he went out of frame, but you know, we're working with generative video here. So, I mean, just, just look at this. It looks so photo real, the movements, the breathing, I'm just absolutely blown away. So it seems like that negative prompting made the world of difference here. And so I just left that negative prompt in and then I go back and add in my original images that I created and do it all again with the negative prompting. Kling does take a long time to generate. It's one of the, the downfalls of it right now, uh, but you can't match the quality of the output and the, the fidelity here. So try sticking with the negative prompting if it's not exactly hitting what you want. But as you see in the trailer here, uh, after working with it some time, it just, the outcome became amazing. After I finished generating all my images, I just kind of took it into my editor as normal, uh, edited, added some features such as grain, did a lot of color correction, and then I could go back and see what shots were missing. And a lot of those were the big monsters and the, the fights with Megazord. So I uh, slowly went in, went shot by shot, created new images in, in Mid Journey, and then I would use them as starting points uh, in order to get the rest of the, the amazing shots here for the trailer. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with Kling 2.0 and when the rest of the features roll out. Um, there were some updates to their colors model and, and some of their uh, other models in this. I didn't get a chance to test those, but my, uh, initially right off the bat, I thought this was a great update. Love to see what you guys come up with. As always, be well, do good, and make awesome things.